Hi guys, in this lecture, I will show you how to reverse an animation. And it's a quite important strategy here to use when you are doing motion graphics. Well, think about it. If you introduce a lower title here, do you really want it till the end of the video? And you're explaining things or you're showing something on the video. You don't want that. You want it, for example, at five seconds after people have read it to disappear. Well, there are several ways to do that. And there is a special section about motion graphics time games where you will learn several methods. But for now, since we are in motion graphics, I will show you the keyframe method. So let's start. We don't want to mess this composition. I'm sure you need it for later on to do some modifications. So we are going to create a duplicate. I will select the old times from the project panel. And then to duplicate it, I press Ctrl D or Command D on the Mac. So now you have an identical composition, but the name has been added. This is one, this is two. Now we're not gonna leave it two, we're gonna rename it and call it reverse. Okay, we double click to open it. It's very good practice to close the previous one because that same animation, you might get confused and do work on both of them. So we decided at five seconds just over here, we want to reverse this animation. We want it to come out in a fancy way. Let's take the background here and press U to see the keyframes. Well, notice what we have. We have animated the roundness. If you use J to go back, it is animated here from zero till 50. Or if you look at the previous one from 100% reverse to 0%. Well, you can come over to five seconds here and decide to recreate an animation that will remove the background. For example, to fade it out, use opacity or maybe use position to take it out on the right. But it will be much nicer to replicate this animation in reverse. Let me show you. Let's select all these keyframes. OK, now I press Ctrl C or Command C on the Mac and then set the time indicator wherever you want to start reversing let's say at five seconds and you press ctrl v but now is what happened here nothing has happened it has been recreated actually we just duplicated the keyframes fine now we need to reverse them to reverse them is very easy you can select two keyframes like this right click and say keyframe assistant and here you have time reverse keyframes Notice you're reversing the time of the keyframes. If you click, what happened exactly? Let's go backward. You notice that the second keyframe is now the roundness zero. And the one that is previous, it's 50. Here it was zero, 50. Now it's 50, zero. Well, cool. The animation has been reversed. Notice what's happening. Instead of going from square to round, it's going from round to square. Cool. Let's do the same for the other two keyframes that are working with scale. Select both of them, right click, keyframe assistant, and time reverse keyframes. Here you are. Now, if you play, there is something still wrong. It is reversing the animation, but notice how we went. We went with the scale first, then roundness. But here we're going for the scale, then the roundness. No, we need to go with the roundness, then the scale. So I will select these two keyframes, as simple as this, and push them backward and try a bit to match them. For example, just like this. Okay. I think they're matching like this will be better. Cool. So now they're almost matching over here. Notice when you used the reverse, it did not move the keyframes around. It's just, you know, reverse them. The first one became last and the last one became first. Now, if you play your animation, here you are. Let's uh, hide the other layers to see it very well. So I will hide all the top layers by, you know, putting off the eye here. This is the visibility. If I play, here you are, it opens and then give it time to render. It goes back. Okay. Now, if you don't like it, of course, you can come and play with it. Let's play it again on full without uh, rendering. That's pretty cool, if you like that. But for example, okay, here in our case, we can remove the roundness if it's bothering you or even speed it up a bit, you know, so you don't see it so clearly. Cool. It's up to you to do it. This method is very good. What's tedious about it, you have to go a layer at a time. For example, let's take these two layers, the square and the welcome. If I press U, I can see the keyframes here. If I copy here 
For the two layers, the keyframes, I press Ctrl C and come after at five seconds, for example, paste. Notice what happens. It's the layers that have been pasted and not the keyframes. So actually, this method works a layer at a time. So you'll come over here, select the keyframes for a single layer, press Ctrl C, you copy them, Ctrl V, you paste them and simply right click and go keyframe assistance. Fine. But this is how I work. I'm going to delete this example. going to open the keyframes for all the layers, except this one's already open. Okay. Let's take it up. So I will select these four. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Fine. Select these two. Ctrl C, Ctrl V or Command C, Command V. You know that. These two. Okay. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And these two. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Now, these, of course, are not reverse. Okay, guys, so I will select all of them. Fortunately, if you right click and go keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes, it works for all the layers. Here you are. So let's look at our animation now. If you play it, we need to give it time to render. And here you are. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, guys. That's very nice, in fact. Let's play it in real time, see exactly how it's happening. Very fine. Now, you can also come over here, since the job is done, you tweak it better, you make the background speedier, for example. Let's bring in the background. Let's take the keyframes here and simply move them so they can work with all the rest. Okay, notice. Yep, speedier. So, this is the method to reverse an animation using the keyframes and you surely need to get used to it you are going to copy and paste keyframes all over the place all the time it's just common practice thank you very much for listening and in the next lecture i will show you how to cut off the layers